This is Twit. I, uh, I, th- I saved the onboarding just for you. So first we should say that while you can do it, you might want to think twice about doing it because it isn't fully fledged and people have already started reporting problems uh, with the GPS and some other things. So uh, only do it as... Well, see, the problem is, Megan, you did it on your iPhone 6S, your extra iPhone. But the <laughs> well, problem... have this back. I mean... The problem with that is that uh, it doesn't support Memoji, which is really no. the main reason people would want to do this. Uh, let me show you on... Um, I started it... Uh, I did it... I did it to both my iPhone 10 and my iPad Pro. And as you can see, I'm just going to walk you through what happens after you do it. Update completed, continue. And one of the things that Apple does, I think, a very nice job of is, is kind of introducing you to the features. So you mentioned screen time. This is the thing that tells you how many hours you've spent playing games or whatever it, it has for every app. But it also gives you a chance to control it. So you can set up parental controls. You can say, I don't want to play or look at Instagram more than an hour a day, things like that. So we'll continue through the settings here. Um, uh, keep, keep your iPad up to date. Oh, this this is quickly access controls. Welcome to iPad. I guess there wasn't that much. No, it's really really in there. Yeah, but you can go. You have to go to the settings and go to the screen time settings to set them up. Yeah, I thought they were going to walk me through it. I'm yeah, sorry. I, I, just, too, I, didn't, I didn't need to. I didn't need to. <laughs> yeah, because they say you can skip this and do it and later. I think just even turning it on. That was just turning it on. So. Yeah. But now if you go to screen time. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's, it's, so first we'll go to do not disturb because there's new do not disturb settings, including this bedtime mode. When bedtime is mode is on, the lock screen will dim. I really like this. Calls will be silenced. Notifications will appear in the notification center. And during do not disturb though, they won't. You won't see any notifications, which is really nice. I really like that. And of course you have, as we've mentioned before, the ability to say, oh, but I do want to get calls from you know, my kids or, or whatever. Or if someone calls three times in a row. Yeah, you have different settings. If we go down to right below Do Not Disturb Now, here's the new entry, Screen Time. And uh, you can see, oh, I've spent a lot, three minutes on entertainment and only 44 seconds on productivity. Mm. So, but in a less eight seconds on creativity. So you could set your downtime. These are the hours, like Do Not Disturb, but downtime means, well, if I turn it on right I could turn it on right now. Um, it is on right now. And you'll see if I want to use an app, if downtime is turned on, well, I don't actually see it. It'll say, uh, it's, it'll, it'll dim it. It won't, oh, I know why, because I don't have the, uh, I don't have the nighttime thing turned on. Yeah, Here's the app limits where you can add a limit. So let's say, you know, I, I want to limit uh, entertainment apps, right? So when I first saw that, I thought, well, why can't it be by app? Like, why can't I limit well, Snapchat? Well, it can be. Or... You, can, you can go into it. Can so you, you can go into I edit can... apps. Can't you? I don't, not yet. Oh, that's interesting. But what I, that my first thought was like, well, I would like to do specific <sighs> games. But then I thought, do I really want that? Because they're always downloading new games yeah. and new apps. And so, you know. So you I've set it... a limit of one hour uh, per day on games and entertainment. Hmm. That's good. Okay. Well, because, you know, you never know what they're going to, if you're, you know, but it's, it's not just for kids; it's for you too. I agree. It should well, have. You're never gonna know oh, here's apps you can allow at all times. Okay, so you can say which apps are always allowed. So that's one thing: is you can make an exception. Right. You can that makes sense. Set a code for blocking inappropriate content, and you see these are family members. So I could, um, I could actually. Turn on. I could be mean to my adult children, but I won't. <laughs> um, yeah, I think. I think that that was a really smart of Apple to do it that way because I think it's a lot of times people are saying like, oh, well, I don't want my kid to play Fortnite or I don't right. want them to use Musical.ly or there's very specific, but that's not, I, I think as parents, we really need to not decide that one app is bad. Like they're, you know, whatever. I'm going to measure your head. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, this is the measure app. You're nine and a half inches. Uh, but that was from nose to stern. <laughs> that was just my nose. <laughs> so, that, um, I'm so sorry. That point, was the measure app. Which my we point is get. that single apps are not bad. You know, they're all just worth talking about. Yeah. But I do think that they should give you a little more granular. I was a little surprised. But remember, this is another thing I want to make sure people understand. This is a pre-release version and it may not have all the features. Right. And some features may be different mm -hmm. when it's released. So if don't you don't get to complain if you download this and say well I should have this it may 
or it, you know, I really like this feature and it's gone. You don't get to complain. This is uh, this is Apple asking you to help them out by banging on this stuff. And mm -hmm. incidentally, one of the things you will get uh, when you when you install a beta is the Apple feedback application, and I encourage you to use that because the whole point of the feedback assistant is to get back to Apple. You can see I, I haven't even logged in. But the whole point of the feedback assistant is to get back to Apple information about where there are problems. So please, you know, take advantage of that. Use that. Because remember how when uh, the first iOS 11 came out um, on the iPad, we couldn't swipe up to get rid of apps? Right. So, and now you can. Give them feedback. We complained and they listened to us. Here's the brand new Stocks app finally <laughs> on the iPad. And it has an all-new design, plus it has news. That was the biggest change is there's, there's news now in here. And speaking of news, Apple's news is also uh, has a new feature. It has a browse tab in here. So this is uh, the first time I've used it, so it's uh, setting it up. It's not the first time I've used it, though, uh, ever. So it should. I'm interested in see if it'll have all my uh, favorites. This uh, Oh, this is different. On I was, I've used it only on... Um, the iPhone, so it doesn't have the. This is the browse on this side. It looks like mm -hmm. so uh, on the iPhone, you'll have a browse button, but here it's always in the left column. So this is the for you. There's the spotlight, but then there's also individual uh, journals that you've chosen in the browse section. That's what browse does, and you can even choose categories. So I can browse. I think this makes news a lot better. I do, too. I use yeah. it this morning, and I found it incredibly yeah. useful. Yeah. I mean, that's a big ad, right? But that, it's got a puppy on it. Yeah. But it's, but it, so that's the negative. It is, it's ad supported. And I, you know, I think Apple probably could shelter. do this without being ad supported. It's just an ad for a pet shelter. Well, it's, a, this is what we call a public service announcement. These are freebies they're giving away because they couldn't sell it yet. Uh, and by the way, when you start seeing ads in Apple products, uh, then you got to remember, oh, how are they selling those ads? Are they going to be tracking your usage? Yeah. Unless you tell them not to. Well. You can turn off ad tracking. It will turn some things off. Yeah. I mean, I just, I worry about that a little bit because that, you know, anything ad Apple does that's ad supported, suddenly that means if they're going to compete against the other ad supported networks like Facebook and Google, that means they're going to have to give that kind of information to the advertisers. Mm -hmm. There's a big interesting change here. I don't know if you notice this. You only, you see it when you're in an app. Used to be date and time were in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. It's over on the left here. Notch. On the iPad. The notch is coming to the iPad. Do you th I think that's a strong indicator that they're going to put a notch there. Which means Face ID on the iPad. Right. And they do need Face ID on the iPad because, gosh, I'm so tired of touching the fingerprint reader. I know. It's filthy. Such a filthy <laughs> idea. It's really it's so, a real problem. But I think that it. that's a pretty strong indicator. The fact that date and time has now moved over to the left, just like on the iPhone. Oh, that's the other thing. This now has the iPhone uh, interface, right? So I, I can't... <laughs> swipe up from the bottom anymore right to get to the control panel we have to swipe down here not what do they call it not control panel the control thingy and we have to swipe down there control thingy, the control <laughs> thingy. i think that's what they call it uh so that's that is a bit of a that is a bit of a, a change and but i think a change for the better because i want a unified user interface i don't want to have two different user interfaces everybody wants to do did me moji you yeah, can't got, show it got, because a, uh, here here we go we can, can you can show please, show can what I sent you. We got to talk about here. This. I am in the car. Okay, here's a really strange effect. It's me in my car driving. I'm on my way, Maroni. <laughs> now, I know in some countries and cultures, <laughs> sticking your tongue out is rude. <laughs> And I'm not trying to be rude to Megan, but that's a new feature of the Memoji. So, in, in fact, in every Memoji I sent you, I stuck my tongue out just to demonstrate, to yeah. so show us some more. Right, okay. Um, so that was my face, and, and you're going to help me create a better one. Yes, but can we stop for a minute and say you weren't actually driving? There was no movement in the car. No, I wasn't driving. I okay. was in the car, but I would never drive in Memoji. Okay. Um, <laughs> it would be very confusing. Let's see. So this is the Memoji this that I created. First, this this is version. my first attempt, and you... Uh, Excuse me. Does this animoji make me look fat? Mm -hmm. You noted something right away. Yes. Besides my tongue. Um, is that I have no ear holes. Yeah. Does this animoji Completely accurate. make me look fat? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
See, Very, I have no ear holes. Ear holes are for listening. They're for people. listening. Who listens? Not me. Excuse me. Show the next one. Does this okay. hand emoji make me look fat? Okay. Let, here's, here's your second uh, attempt. Not only are there no holes in my ears, <laughs> there's no holes in my nose. <laughs> ah. <laughs> So I'm just playing with the gestural know. stuff. It's not perfect, but you've you've used memojis. You'll yeah. And here's some of the new memojis. You get a dinosaur. I might also mention that the dinosaur is really scary and has ear holes <gasps> and nose holes. Wow. Why is it the dinosaur is going to have ear holes and nose holes, but not humans? I ask you. I don't think they need to play them over and over again. I have to. Well, say. in case you missed the beginning, yeah. there's the ghost. <laughs> um, the there's the koala. Mm -hmm. I think the koala bear should probably sound a little bit like uh, uh, William F. Buckley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last an emoji you're going to get from me. <laughs> I only play with them when they first come out. So they, you get get the ghost, you get the dinosaur, you get a koala, and you get a tiger.